again, thank you guys for being here. Just want to give you an update on, on the whole situation and we'll try to rebrief as we can, but just want to let you know that, again, just before 6 p.m. last night, the Jasper County Sheriff's Department, along with the Hardyville Police Department, responded to 432 Sanders Road for a uh, domestic situation. Just prior to arriving, dispatch received information that the suspect, 26-year-old uh, Jose Trejo, Hispanic male, had a weapon and was firing at uh, his mother. We, we, we initially thought last night it was his uh, significant other. However, we, we have learned that it was his mother. Uh, upon the officers arriving on scene, uh, someone on scene told our officers that he had just shot his mother. So of course they, they entered the house and uh, once entering the house, <clears throat> the suspect came out of the bedroom firing at the officers with no warning. So it was kind of an ambush style type of attack is the way we feel. And uh, of course they returned fire and, and through, through the gun battle, <clears throat> the suspect, Mr. Trejo, was uh, ultimately killed on scene. As of right now, uh, I spoke with the family of Officer Justin Smith, which is my my Jasper County deputy, and he has surgery at three o'clock today uh, on his left hand, and uh, he was also struck in the in the collarbone, and they're still looking at that to determine whether he's going to need surgery on that or not. But as of right now, they feel like probably not. Okay, and my my officer uh, Sergeant Grant was hit in the arm. They're going to do surgery later on today on that. Uh, the wound to his uh, left side, uh, they, they think that was more of a bullet fragment. So he, uh, I spoke with him last night about 11, 1130 or so. And I just had two officers return from the hospital and also my victim's advocates over there and giving me an update. He's in good spirits. Uh, he is uh, recovering well. So. Hopefully we'll have him back to work soon. So, Just to give you a little information what we have on the suspect, Mr. Trejo, he has been arrested multiple times on multiple different charges. Um, he's been arrested by Beaufort County, by Jasper County, and Columbia PD, and there's there's another out-of-state charge here. But uh, his charges stem from anything from criminal domestic violence to weapons charges to DUI, um, trafficking, drug charges, fair to appear in court, uh, and filing false police reports. So. Those were not convictions. We don't know exactly what he was convicted of or not, but we know that he's been charged with those uh, those particular charges in the past. So uh, we're very we're, we're we're not clear of why this happened, what his intent was, what caused him to to act in this manner. Uh, all that we, we can't we can't speculate on that at the moment. And was anyone else in the house during this time? We don't believe anyone else was in the house at the time. She was she was uh, she had minor injuries <clears throat> from the gun blast to the face. She had some, some burning on the side of her face. She was not struck by the bullet. However, because of the close contact of the gun, it did burn part of her eye and the side of her face. But she was released last night. What was the reason that prompted the officers to, to go inside? Is that, I guess, typical protocol? It's all, it's, all, it's all in the difference in the time of the situation. Uh, if we think somebody's hurt or injured inside the house, we're going to enter it. We can't wait on some supply. Okay. 